Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to fix up our stuff and go sell it and make a ton of money. Uh, so that's the main plan for today's episode, and then depending upon how our time goes, we might uh, go out and do uh, either this quest or maybe even just some random looting today. So we'll see how things go. All right, so we got uh, our work cut out for us. I have, um, let's see, is there anything in here? No, we have... 110 steel plating and 250 iron plating. Because uh, those are kind of the, the two main things that we're going to need to uh, repair. And it uh, seems to me like I was going to show you guys something else. It's been a couple of days since uh, I played last. Um, and just shameless plug time. I don't know how many of you guys that who watch um, me like simulator games um but i have uh, a few weeks ago i started playing gold rush the game um and am really enjoying that and then and then <clears throat> more recently i just started playing farming simulator and just loving those games so if you guys um, want to get your simulator on stop by the channel check those out i'm um, having lots of fun but anyway um we are back in the apocalypse we are not on our farm in ohio so <laughs> we got to switch gears here uh quite a bit different game uh, I guess we are simulating surviving, though, in this game, right? Uh, so anyway, uh, I think maybe I was just going to show you that I made some gumbo, two shepherd's pies, and ten hobo stews. So we're doing really, really good on food. I might have done that on the last episode. I can't remember if we did or not. Probably not, because the last episode was the Horde Night. And, oh, one of you told me in the comments, my friend um, Queen Death said that every time I go down here off to the left... There's an ammo pile. Where are we? Uh, where are we seeing that at? I don't see an ammo pile off to the left. Is it over here? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um. So Queenie, let me know in the comments where you're seeing that because I I'm not seeing it. I'm assuming you mean this ladder here, because I think you said the ladder that I go down to get to the motorcycle. Were you talking about in here? Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I guess I'm not seeing it. So. Anyway, yeah. If if it is still there, um, if you could give me more specific directions on where to get it, that would be great. Because we love ammo piles. Yes, indeed, we do. Okay, anyway, um, so we have a bunch of repairing to do first. That's the, the first thing we got to do. And so uh, we only have nine repair kits, too, so that's going to be a thing. Probably anything that re requires a repair kit, uh, we probably won't do for now. I mean, I can make them, but they're really expensive in this mod to make. So let's just repair the stuff that's not going to you know cost us really expensive resources to repair and i don't even know where to start to be honest with you i mean i got armor in here we got like two full chests of weapons and more um when you oh yeah when you guys told me on the comments that i need to have an iron crossbow bolt loaded into that when i'm comparing it with the compound bow to get more accurate uh comparison on the damage so let's um load up an iron crossbow bolt okay now if we look at this yeah you can definitely see that the crossbow is now actually in fact giving us more damage than the compound bow so yeah you know what let's just switch things up and let's let's go ahead and use the compound crossbow for a while we've been using this compound bow for a long time and i've it's been a great uh great bow for sure um but let's switch to this so we can put that on we can't put an arrow rest on a crossbow but we can put a scope not an 8x scope though what else could we put on the crossbow instead mod wise uh, i don't think there's anything else in here that we could put on a crossbow oh we could put this a reflex sight on there yeah right yeah i think so Modify. There we go. Nice. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, now we're looking at 106 damage plus 18 versus 97 damage base. So yeah, that is definitely an upgrade. I am going to hang on to this compound bow, though. I'm not going to actually sell it. All right. I love it. I like this reflex sight on this crossbow, too. Nifty. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. We got so much crap, you guys. It's just ridiculous. Um, this is uh, this is our current cell chest, so I guess maybe we just start here, right? Um, so let's grab everything out of here. Um, and also, I want to put the iron arrows in here and replace those with those crossbow bolts. I guess the flaming arrows should go in there, too. I always forget to use those. Put that in there. This arrow rest mod can go in here for now. So, you know, I'm doing all of this as much to just clear some space out as I am to make money. So, uh, what these are baton parts. Uh, we're not even hanging on to those because we're not doing... Okay, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> I got a an out of uh, disk space uh, error message and it stopped my recording because I had some uh, stuff I had to clean off that disk. So anyway, uh, we're back in business. So let's see, we were talking about, yeah, we were talking about these baton parts. Okay, so let's go to our maintenance station and start uh, repairing whatever we can repair as long as it's not gonna cost us an arm and a leg. Um, all of these purple iron pieces should get us a reasonable amount of money. That we can't repair. Um, so we're going to save it for now. And I think I'm just going to put it in, in, the, in the bottom row of this for now. Um, because I don't want to I don't want to burn a repair kit on that. Uh, same thing with this too. Okay. We are definitely going to get ourselves a a tier three, you know, station as, as soon as we can. We're working towards it. We are working towards it. Okay, this. We'll repair that. That just takes scrap iron. Uh, okay, more leather stuff here. I always thought it was weird in this game that clothing doesn't take damage, but armor does. Just the way it works, I guess. Iron machete. Yeah, we should we should pull in some nice bank uh, from today's sales. This can we repair that? Yeah. Okay. So that's four steel. Iron pickaxe. Uh. Okay. These two things need to go in here. I guess I accidentally put them in that crate, uh, crate not meaning to. All right, now let's grab all of these frying pans and uh, I think I think I want to keep these two things for now. I th think I'm going to keep the AUC for, for the time being. I want to keep that mod. And I doubt we can repair this in the repair station anyway because it's an A level, but let's see. Yeah, we can't. Okay. Uh, nope, this. All right, so we'll keep that stuff there. Now we should be able to repair this and all of these items. Can I shift-click those in there? Nope. I can shift-click them out of there but not into there, which is a little odd. Oh, we can't do this guy either. Okay, what about this frying pan? That's an A-level frying pan. This is a... Yeah, we can do that one too. Okay, that's um, a legend or a superior level. All right, I think that repairs everything in our inventory so far. So let's just do a sort. Actually, we'll sort by dollar amount, I guess. This will go in here until we can repair it later. And I think we're hanging on to the rest of this stuff for the time being. Okay, now let's go to this guy. I'm just trying to do a quick scan here. We probably won't be able to repair this. Maybe not the hunting rifle. I want to keep these pistols here. 
Um, so let's transfer all of our keep stuff down here for now. And I'll, uh, I'll reorganize stuff after we get rid of this stuff. Oh, we, we can repair that. Okay, good. What about this? Nope. Insufficient station level. Okay. Okay, we were working with this. Okay, is there anything else in here that I might not be able to repair? We want to keep those items. We want to keep... Or we want to at least take the mod off of here, whatever it is. It's the duck bill. Um, no, actually, I already have a duck bill. So we should keep that on there to make more money. Because right now it's worth 127 and it brings that up to 254 You know what, though? We could probably... Let's hold off on that, because there might be a more expensive weapon we could put that duck bill on and make a little more money from it. So, again, uh, we're transferring stuff we're keeping to this chest until I can sort it out later. This is just a scrap shotgun anyway, so... Uh, all right, so let's continue on here. So, I think the this machete... This steel combat knife, um, this iron, yeah, we should be able to do the iron combat knife. We know we can't do that stun baton already because we've already tried. Well, no, that's a, that's a lower level. Okay, let's try this stuff. Yeah, okay, we can repair that. What about this? Insufficient station level. That we can repair. That we can repair. Oh, because that's a scrap machete. Okay, I got you. So we'll put this combat knife down here. And then, again, we'll sort by dollar amount. We want to keep this uh, scope. All right, I'm sure I probably missed something, but probably we can repair everything else that's in this chest. So let's grab all of it. Oh, okay, we're heavy. Um, I can get to the maintenance station from here. Look at that. Okay. We'll repair that. Frying pan. Hunting knife. Scrap knife. An A-level frying pan. Scrap machete, badger 44, rusty pipe revolver, scrap pistol, steel knuckles. Ah, that one we can't do. Okay. So let's go to this chest and put the steel knuckles in there. We should be able to repair these iron sledges. Now, I should probably keep a backup sledge. Do I have... I don't have any backup sledges in there. That's all paint. That's all armor. I know, I got stuff all over the place. Yeah, okay, so uh, we're going to hang on to... Um, probably it's either this one or this one. Yeah, let's hang on to this purple one uh, as a backup sledge. Now, um, is this a level lever action better than both of these purples? Ooh, this purple actually does one more point of damage, and is negligible in in the other areas that it's not. Okay, so we're gonna hang on to both of those. This one we'll probably repair and sell at some point in the future. All right. Oh, we can actually move now, too. Look at that. Uh, just barely, though. All right. Hunting rifle. Um, let's uh, repair that. Lever action. And purple level lever action. Just about said level action. Iron crossbow. We need a bow string for that, which we should be able to make in a carpenter's table. 
Um, we also have this bow too, so let's make a couple of bow strings. This has a mod on it that we want to, whatever it is, we're going to want to take that off. Okay, bow string we want to keep in here. What's next? Iron sword and steel katana and ranger rifle. I think that's it for this current batch. All right, let's run down to our motorcycle and offload what we currently have. And then we'll come back up and get the next batch. The ever-present ubiquitous zombies. Such a pain in the butt. Okay. So, yeah. We'll move all of that over there. Uh, we can put the money in there for now, too, I guess. All right, let's get going on the next batch. So we've cleared that crate out. This is stuff we want to keep. That's books and thingies. That crate's been cleared out. All of that stuff on top is resources that we I'm not necessarily intending to sell. Um, let's grab all of the weapons out of here. Okay, so, and, and the FAR too. So the rest of this stuff is mods and or parts that we definitely want to keep. And um, so anything that's a mod in here, let's pull out and put in there. What's in here again? Oh yeah, that's armor, right, okay. So this is actually supposed to be our weapon chest. I wanna keep the Desert Mantis for sure. And probably the pump shoddy we're going to keep, too, for the time being. Now, have we compared this to this? Yeah, this does 74.2 base, 54.9. So, yeah, we're going to sell that for sure. Uh, do, I don't, do we want to keep a, the sniper rifle? Yeah, you know what? Why don't we? Let's keep the sniper rifle for now, too. I'm going to keep the junk turret because it's the only one I have. Don't think we need the Badger 44 because if we start using a 44 pistol, it'll probably be the Desert Mantis. Okay, so let's sort all of this stuff and then I'm gonna grab all of these items and just put them back in our weapons chest for now, except for that. No, not you. You can go in here for now. Okay, so that's all the stuff we're keeping, either because we want to actually keep it or because it, we can't afford to repair it right now. Let's get this stuff fixed up. That'll sell for 800 and change. Iron Knuckles. Those have a cool looking model. We might not be able to repair this. Oh, we can. Okay. Oh, because it's an iron knife. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, that shotgun's already repaired. All right. That So that takes care of weapons. Now let's start looking at tools. And boy, do I have a lot of them. So the carpenter's axe is used for... What does this require for a tier three upgrade? Not a carpenter's axe. We need. I think we needed the carpenter's axe to do the tier two upgrade. So I don't think we need to save those carpenter's axes for anything. But just you know, because I have a few of them, just in case, let's hang on to the best one that we have, which is this guy here. Okay, we don't need an iron fire axe. We don't need a scrap axe. We know we can't repair the steel axe. In fact, that doesn't belong in there anyway, because this is a weapons chest. 
So we'll keep that in there for now. The titanium axe is 22. It's cool and all, but it's not as good as those. Can we get scrap? How much is it worth? It's worth some money. It is worth some money. Um, But if we scrap it, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Yeah, I know it's worth money, but I have, we need titanium scrap for some upgrades coming up. So, yeah, we're going to scrap that. Okay. It's been done. Uh, shovels. Do we need shovels for any recipes? A primitive water well. Okay, we already have one of those. And, you know, if I needed to make a new one later on, I can always easily... Uh, make one of those we don't need two wire tools but we want one steel shovel can i repair those in here i can i find a lot of steel shovels in the loot in this game all right we'll repair the scrap axe the iron shovel all of that stuff a scrap shovel and we're going to make some good money, you guys. We are really going to rake in some cash today. Repair that. Icebreaker pickaxe. All right. So did I check? Yeah, that doesn't have a recipe. That shouldn't have a recipe. That doesn't have a recipe. So, yeah, I think we're safe to, to sell all of that stuff. Okay. I'm going to keep a couple of flashlights for crafting. Um... I do want to have a backup pickaxe. We're not selling the Valkyrie drill, of course. The titanium chainsaw chain. That is a mod, and so I'm going to keep that in here. I'm just kind of keeping all mods and parts in the same chest for now. So probably I, I want to keep that spare wrench unless we have a better one. This icebreaker pickaxe is not as good as this blue steel pickaxe. So that's going to be a backup pickaxe for us. And I think everything else now in my inventory we can we can sell. So claw hammer. Should we hang on to another one of these? I know these are used in recipes. But here again, I mean I can make that really easily now. If I if I needed to. I think I would do that in here, right? Yeah. I, I can make one. So, you know, if we, if we need one for something in the future, I'll just make it. Okay, we'll repair that. And I think that gets this next batch fully repaired. Okay, so that cleans out this chest except for what we're keeping. Oh, man. All right, so uh, I must, are paintbrushes as easy to make in this mod as they are anywhere else? Yeah, there, there's not even any reason to keep that. Oh, it does have a $48 sell price, though. Okay, well, we'll sell it then. We will sell it. A steel machete. That's not even supposed to be in there. Can we uh, repair this? We can. 962. Wow, nice. Okay. Uh, that is not as good as our superior saw blade, right? It is not. No. Okay. You know what, though? This might be nice to have as a backup bladed weapon. Yeah, why don't we Why don't we do that? We'll have a backup bladed weapon, unless we have something that's even better than that. I don't know. All right, all these hammers, uh, we're keeping the auger. We already have an extra wire tool there. Okay. All of these can go. We have so much crap. Is this pick better than this pick it is not okay and actually though you know what i don't think i can repair that in here pretty sure i can't i can never mind so much for being pretty sure right okay let's get all this stuff repaired how much do these steel shovels 749 yeah well i mean if the mod wants to keep giving them to me i'll take them because if nothing else, we can make some pretty decent money off of them. Uh, this hammer here. 
I think we should keep a backup hammer. And that's probably going to be this purple guy here. Okay. And that repairs all of that stuff. Yeah, we're definitely keeping that's those items. We need the auger for as, as actually a recipe item. We don't need it to use because the Valkyrie drill is way better than the auger in every way in this mod. That we cannot repair. I, we already know we can't repair that either. Okay, so... These are just weapons, right? Yeah, okay. So we'll just put these guys back in here for now until we can afford to repair them. All right, nothing... Oh, actually, yeah, this is a better wrench than this. So this will become our backup wrench, and we'll just sell this guy. Now, this is probably even a better... Oh, I, I got weapons in here. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's go back to here. Yeah, so this is actually going to be our backup pick. And I don't think we can repair that in here either. Nope. But we can, you know, if we need to use it, we can repair it with a, um, a repair kit. Okay, so that's our backup wrench. Uh, now, these weapons don't belong in here. Can I repair any of them? Should be able to repair that. Can repair that. I want to keep the nine because we don't have one. And this hunting rifle is not as good as the sniper rifle. So no point in hanging on to that. Get these repaired. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, the commerce part of this game. I. This is not something we do all of the time, but it's a little bit different than the norm. And it's good to mix things up every once in a while. And the cool thing is, is how much money are we going to end up with at the end of the day? It should be good. It's too bad we didn't have enough mushrooms to make um, an awesome sauce. I, I know how to make it, but I don't have enough ingredients. Well, it's that and a yucca juice, but we could probably find a yucca juice in a vending machine. Mushrooms are a little tougher to come by. Okay, so sell this, this, and this. We definitely want to keep these two things. The Iron Breaker mod, let's put in here. And we'll put that up there. So actually, these items here are items we're keeping. Uh, these we're going to sell once we can get them fixed up. But I'm going to leave them in there for now. Okay, so that gets us caught up on tools. And then there's a couple other things, maybe a couple pieces of armor and stuff that we'll, uh, we'll take over and sell too. Oh, you know what? This claw hammer is probably better than this claw hammer. Yes, it is. Okay, so that that will become our backup. All right. So let's sort by by Mula. Um, I'm gonna go offload this load, and then we'll take a look and see what else we have left to to sell. Uh, like I said, some armor, maybe some re resources. We'll take a look at um, that possibility too. Uh, so we want the heaviest stuff to go in for now. We're almost out of space in the motorcycle Yeah, we are out of space. Okay But that that gets us back. We're, we're good. Yeah We're gonna have to pull it all back out again anyways to sell it. So 
I don't want to offload everything. Let's look at armor next. Um, okay, so we have... S what I want to do here is I want to make sure that we have a full backup set. In case the worst happens and we have to... Uh, you know, have a temporary set of armor to get back to our stuff and whatnot. Let's also eat a hobo. Hobo stew, that is. Not a hobo. <laughs> eat a hobo. No. Uh, I don't think that would be good. Uh, zombies probably like them. Okay, so, back to this. Uh, we know we can't repair that. Um, so, we'll grab this. Hazmat... Boots and gloves. Okay. Cold resistance. We'll sell these hazmats because the gloves that we have are just slightly better. I want to take the dyes off of these. I sure wish these would stack. It just seems ridiculous that they don't stack. Why? Why, fun pimps? Why? Makes no sense. All right, back to here. Um, so this I'm these clo clothes I'm hanging onto for cold and hot weather clothing. We probably don't need it, but I mean them anyways. So we just want to make sure we have a full set of heavy armor, as or even you know even the military army would be good too as a backup. So uh, this is a backup chest piece, I guess. Those are our backup boots. This is our backup. Uh, uh, well, actually, which of these helmets is better? 13.8, 12.8. Yeah, that steel one's better. Let's take the mod off of here. We'll put it on here. Okay. So this chest piece we can sell. Uh, I don't think we care about a jacket. Those are shades, shades, and tough guys. Perception plus one. These are both the same, so it doesn't really matter. Let's grab the dies off of here. Yeah, never, never understood why they made it so that we can't frickin' uh, stack die. It's like, what is up with that? We don't need all these paintbrushes. Maybe we'll hang on to one. We'll sell the rest of them. Okay, anything else in here that we can sell? Um, this is our backup light armor set. Uh, we don't have a military helmet, because this is a SWAT helmet. This is heavy armor. I believe. Yeah, heavy armor. And then the rest of this stuff is just... Small. Oh, okay, we got gloves, too. So this would be our backup heavy glove set. What are we missing from here? Chat. Chat. Oh, legs. We don't have uh, heavy legs, do we? Yeah, we do. Right here. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah, I think that's all I want to sell out of this chest. Um... And we have our backup sets if we, you know, if we if we need them. Okay, let's uh, get this stuff repaired. It is a nice helmet. It sells for over eleven hundred bucks, but it's not quite as good as the steel helmet. Those are nice leather boots. We already have military boots, though, right? Yes, we do. Okay. That takes care of the clothing. Now, uh, what's up here? No, we're not selling it well. We do have a full stack of plastic there. That would net us almost 4,000. Yeah, you know what? Let's sell it. We've got plenty of extra plastic. Anything else that we have a full stack of? We have a full stack of cloth. How much would that sell for? 487? Yeah, why not? We have, We already have a ton of it everything else I think we're going to hang on to because we don't have full stacks of. Now, in here, I could sell some batteries, but the cool thing about batteries is in this station we get acid out of them and lead and stuff like that. Um, 
So I, I'm, I kind of hesitate to do that. I think we should keep those and just break a bunch of them down to make some space in this chest. Nothing in there we want to sell. That's just resources. Can we sell full stacks of this stuff? For 97? Eh, probably not worth it. Probably better to hang on to that and turn it into like planks and that sort of thing. Uh, this is our ammo chest. What does a full stack of feathers sell for? 243? Why don't we sell a couple stacks of feathers? Paper. That's not worth the price of admission. We're just going to hang on to that. Uh, definitely not going to sell any of our casings. I don't... Well... Ooh, look at the money we get for that. Let's sell a couple stacks of 9 mil. I mean, we got so much of it. It's ridiculous. We're not even using a 9 millimeter. Uh, we got a ton of 10 mil rounds, too. Maybe we'll sell a stack of those... If we ever decide to use the SMG, we are going to want that, though. But, I mean, we got a ridiculous amount right now. So, I don't think there's anything else in there I would like to sell. Uh, I don't think there's anything in those chests. All of this is resource stuff that I do not want to sell. Right. Okay, um, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head if there's anything upstairs in our food stuff that we might want to sell. I don't think so. Pretty sure we want to hang on to all that. So I think we're ready to go, you guys. Oh, let's uh actually go back upstairs for a second. All right, you know what? Screw this. We're taking a stair ride. I don't want to mess with it. That way we can move. Nothing in there I want to sell. Uh, we could sell off some of these steroids, I guess. That is a lot of steroids. Eh, nah, I don't think so. Uh, but we do want some sugar butts. Let's grab a few of those uh, in case we have to go to multiple traders, which we probably will if we want to sell everything. Yeah, what the heck. Let's sell a half a stack of steroids. Don't think I want to sell any of this stuff. We could sell some extra jars, but I don't think we will. I don't think we will. All right. That's it, guys. We are ready to go. So let's head on over to our trader buddy and make ourselves some bank. We have got a crap ton of stuff to sell here. I have enough wood now, by the way, to, to make actually make a drawbridge, so that is on the to-do list. Anything you like? Oh crap. I was gonna um see if we could make a pumpkin a pumpkin cheesecake thingamadoodle. Got hit by a stupid vulture and he made me tired and infected, little bastard. Um, yeah, uh, let, let's run back and see if we can make that cheesecake. I mean, we have so much stuff to sell that fi a 5% increase is going to be significant. Okay, so we need cornmeal and grain alcohol. Didn't we? We made a bunch of cornmeal, didn't we? Yes, we did. And I think we also need cornmeal to make the grain alcohol, too. Uh, yeah, let's, um... Make one of those. Five percent discount when bartering. Okay. All right, we'll make this, and then I'll meet you guys back there. All right, we're here. Yes. You're a sight for sore eyes. I know I am. Okay, we're going to take a sugar butts. We're going to take a pumpkin cheesecake. And we have the stove in our mouth. And let's make some money. So, actually, before we... I want to have the money in our inventory so we can watch it grow. Because that's the fun part. So, we're starting off with... 
Uh, we'll just say 23,000. All right, let's take a look at your inventory. Got a nice AK there. But we're not here to buy, we are here to sell. What is the most valuable thing currently in our inventory? Uh, these guys are. Okay, so we're starting out with 23,000. Let's start selling and see what we end up with. It's the money. All right, so yes, um, we managed to get everything sold before our pumpkin pie, or I mean, uh, pumpkin cheesecake, or whatever the heck that stuff was, uh, wore off. We have almost a hundred grand here uh, from those sales, and then I have a couple of things that you know that I had more than a total of six that they didn't want, which we can just. I mean, I could run over to the other trader to sell that stuff, but it's not really worth that much money. Um, probably not worth the effort, but yeah. 100, almost a hundred grand. Very cool. Now let's go look and see. Uh, yeah. See, the, the, this I didn't actually mean to sell those. I, I wanted to keep those. Um, this stuff's not worth making a trip over there. So we're not going to get that much more money out of it. Hundred and thirty. I didn't even repair those, anyways. So yeah, look at that, guys. Almost a hundred thousand coin. That's pretty darn good. Let's take a look and see what they have for sale. I, I think I've looked before, but I just don't remember, so. Um, okay, he's got an AK. We don't really need that. With this much money, we could just... I think we're going to buy any use schematics for the research data, because that's what's really the most important thing to us right now. Uh, we don't... I don't think we need a small armor pocket. Let's take a look at his secret. All right, yeah, we're, we're gonna buy, actually buy these and learn them. Lucky looter, find more brass and loot. That, um, yeah, I get, uh, yeah, let's just buy that to scrap it. And what's that? Oh, player vending machine. We already have an extra crucible, so we don't need that. Plus, it's 11,000 anyway. That's a lot of money. All right, I think that's all we pleasure. want from you. you watch yourself out there. Let's see what you got, man. Um, I need one of the. Actually, I need. I need two of these. Um, it's the titanium that's holding us up on me being able to make that. But I need at least one for an upgrade. You know what? We have so much bank. I'm just gonna buy them both. I'm just gonna do it. It's not that big a deal right now. That's all the stuff we sold him. Okay, let's go to his uh, secret. 
Dune Runner suspension. We're going to buy that. We're going to buy this so we can scrap it. A Renegade motorcycle. Nah, we don't need that. Uh, we'll buy this. What's this do? Yeah, we'll buy it to so scrap it. Machine guns and sledgehammer skill points. Nah, I don't think we'll... Well, I mean, we can scrap these too, can't we? Eh. Yeah. And what the hell? Let's buy them. Okay, so we still have 72,000 right. coin. And, you know, there might be a big ticket out of my... Out, item out there that we could have maybe bought but I think the money's going to be better served right now just getting as much research data as we can get our hands on however a couple of these things we're going to actually read so uh, this basically gives us 10 percent more damage with automatic weapons the yes thank you very much uh, we will want a, a drone light so we'll learn that um, we want the end lucky looter thing plus finding more brass and loot's never a bad thing that we don't care about. This we want to learn. The Dune Runner suspension. Oh man, that's loud. Is it really that late? My goodness. And what does this do? Denim jeans, skirts, overalls. Eh, I don't think we care about the end loot of this thing, so we're just going to scrap that. You know what? We need to get out of here, actually, or the game's going to kick us out. I had no idea it was that late. It'll kick us out with our motorcycle locked inside. That would not have been good. <laughs> That would not have been a good situation. No siree, Bob. All right, well, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna scrap the rest of those schematics that we got, you know, and see how much research data we end up with. And um, I think we're gonna wrap up the episode here. So yeah, we didn't didn't really get a lot of action in this time, but that's okay. It's nice to change things up every once in a while, and it feels good, you know, to have, to cleared out our inventory. Uh, we made a bundle of cash, and then we turned around and spent. A pretty big chunk of that on stuff that we really need research data and a couple other things so I'm feeling pretty good about stuff so in the next episode uh, we'll probably get back to looting and continue looking for that research data doing some trader quests and go from there so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode bye bye